Kick it! Welcome to Hard Headed Podcast. It's time to join the conversation. All right, episode 119. Welcome, folks. Thanks for joining the conversation. Today, we're going to have a good word with Chet, and we're going to do our top three fast food French fries. About to be a battle up in here, because I I think we're going to be opinionated. Really? Mm -hmm. With fast food French fries? Yeah. I don't know how. I could see how this subject could turn violent. Okay. Well. Hey. I'm already hitting the microphone just because I think you were about to say something that I didn't agree with. He's up. Well, to start us off, we're going to hear what's on Matt's mind. So, Matt, what you got? I'm upset. Okay. <laughs> Somebody, Let me tell you why. I'm driving? Gonna, Somebody gonna t- make you mad? No. Okay. No. Somebody cut you off mid-sentence? Yes, uh, and it has been people on this show that has been commented on by people on YouTube says y'all need to shut up when I'm saying something. Yeah, well. However, I'm not going to rely on you guys to shut up today because, uh, as you know, up, oh, oh, I'm out. Oh, dust the chips off your chest and then uh, let's talk. So uh, there, you got it. You got a little sour cream and onion was going on there. <laughs> At least you didn't chew them into the microphone. I'm, which, about, I'm about to. Which. If you recall, I've been uh, playing a lot of uh, Call of Duty, and uh, uh, my I actually went out and got like a really nice pair of uh, head headphones because they say that apparently with this sound, the headphones you can hear people like running behind you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who was saying that, Matt? I don't remember, but me. I don't know if it was you, dude. I was like, you need to get, and you're like, my TV's got good sound. I need to be alert of my surroundings in my house just in case somebody breaks in. I found a pair Mm -hmm. that blocks out is like a, a, what do you say? Noise noise canceling. Noise Noise canceling. canceling. But if there's somebody talking, it lets you hear them. Okay. It's weird. Like, I I don't know exactly why. So much. We talked about it because my son listens to the podcast and he literally was like, dad, I, I, I can give Matt some of my headphones because his gameplay will be so much. It would be a much better experience if he had So it was, it, tell Stone. And I was, I said, Stone, Matt's an idiot. He doesn't <laughs> want them. <laughs> tell Stone, I was incorrect. Okay. Yeah. I stand corrected because it changed the amount of people I kill. <laughs> so what do they do? To tell them? So uh, apparently the way that the, this new audio is set up, Um, the way it's directed into the speakers lets it hear. It's like a spatial sound science. So if somebody's back on your left, the audio is back on your left. It actually sounds like... Okay, like surround sound in a theater. Yeah, but it's... But it's better. I wouldn't say better. but in your ears. But it's in your ear. And I know, like I can hear somebody just very lightly just trying to sneak up behind me and like, oh, dead. I mean, it's it's cool. It really is. Mm -hmm. However... There are people because you get randomly, your, your teams are randomly selected most of the time unless you show up with your own team that you're going to play with. Do you know how many of these people chew chips? Or <laughs> While they're playing? In, yeah, oh my, and with their mouth open into the microphone. Dude, uh-uh. There is a mute button, which I mute these people so I don't have to hear them. But then it kills your team play because then I can't, you know, you can't tell each other. I go kill them in the virtual world. I've actually done that a couple of times. Yeah. I said, stop chewing into the microphone, please. I'd like to play this game, be able to communicate with you, but you got to stop chewing those. I have a condition called misophonia. I've brought that up and they don't believe me. So I I killed him. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And then guess what? He killed me. And then guess what? Our team lost because we just kept killing each other. Yeah. <laughs> but did he stop chewing in the microphone? No, he didn't stop chewing in the microphone. Oh my gosh. It it is it is worse in that 3D sound. <laughs> right up in your ears. I bet. Did I, you did you almost than it is sitting here next to Chet listening to him eat chips. Did you know that it's uh like there are there's a concern in population decline because of video games? And, and people not getting out and socializing and being able to, to date women and get married. And yes, have kids. I actually have heard that. That that person chewing in that microphone is not going to have kids. He's definitely not getting a girl No, chewing like that. No. Absolutely not. And then uh, uh, I had one girl um, on there that, that was playing and she was talking about, uh, I'm going to finish this blunt and then 
go <laughs> and then go to Popeyes. <laughs> good choice. Right, 50 50, yeah, 50% good decision there. So I was like, you know, that doesn't sound like a too bad of an idea. So yeah. got, got Popeyes. You know, I was like, spicy I got, I got chicken. Pop, I got Popeyes the other day, spicy chicken. It's been a long time since I've been through. Like my mom and dad, back when they were alive, that was one of the. You know, when I was taking care of them, what can I do? Oh, we, we you know, they, they like some, you know, Popeye's chicken. Oh, yeah. My mom was like a big red beans and rice fan and, and from there. And uh, I happened to, it was after we had recorded uh, like two, two or three sessions ago. It was a Thursday night and Ashley's got Bible study at the house. So it's like, I'm not rushing to get back there. So I'm like, I can stop meat dinner. Where, where can I, oh, I haven't been to Popeye's in forever. Get there. And the line, it wasn't backed up where you can order, but that was it. I pulled up and ordered and couldn't move. And it took 30 minutes or so to get around to get my food. Didn't even care. Wasn't, it didn't upset me one bit. I was like, man, I'm about to eat some good old-fashioned spicy Popeye's chicken. So we, we, we did the Popeye's route. That's the only place we really get chicken from ever yeah. um, if we're going to go out to eat. And uh, we got the chicken, but they were out of biscuits. They were out Ooh, of coleslaw. Yeah. They were out of mashed potatoes. They were out of everything, basically, except chicken. Throw in some more chicken. So then, guess what? Guess what my wife did? Guess what she did? She, she went to the store, and she picked up... Biscuits? Potato salad. She picked up yeah. coleslaw. And then uh, those uh, Hawaiian, King Hawaiian rolls. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not I as mean, good as a Popeye's biscuit, but not, not, bad. not bad. Not bad. Good replacement. Yeah. Soaks up that... Uh, Soaks up that uh, coleslaw sauce just fine. So, did the girl come back with Popeyes and eat that into the microphone? No, she left. I was kind of curious. I, I almost sent her a friend request just to see if the Popeyes was good because I had another buddy experiment. Maybe this is a more of a top three segment, top three chicken joints. But uh, you know I'm, what I'm going to call right now is uh, I had a buddy say that he was going to go get some chicken, and I was like, oh, cool, you know. And he went and, he went and got some chicken from another. Uh, establishment pretty, pretty popular place yeah got sicker than a dog like stomach throwing up and just up you know i mean that could happen anywhere it could happen anywhere but it's just funny that i called it before it happened i was like <laughs> i was like you should probably go to popeyes man i've you know i've never been I've never gotten sick off of popeyes yeah. now it will it will give me the whoosh you know what i mean mm -hmm. but <laughs> I mean, I mean I had the whoosh. I, I get Popeyes, the whoosh all the time right. for Popeyes. I mean, that's just immediate. KFC got it, the whoosh. But, and I think as soon as those potatoes hit my hit my stomach, that's when the whoosh starts to happen. Oh, it's yeah, the, it's the grease. Not, not in the chicken for me. It doesn't. Uh, just the chicken doesn't do it. Are you but, guys a white meat or dark meat? Both. I, I'll eat either one, dude. Dark meat all the way. Don't 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 put a chicken breast in my three piece meal. Oh, I I love the chicken breast in the three piece, but I'll, the thigh. I'd rather, yeah, give me three thighs. I'd rather Two thighs the, and a drumstick. I'd rather eat the wings and the, yeah, all yeah. the dark meat than the big white chicken breast. Yeah. Speaking, speaking of wings, did you know that there's a guy suing Buffalo Wild Wings? Oh, uh, I heard about that. No. Yeah. Because Stupid. their boneless wings are just chicken nuggets. What's the, what's the, it says it's white meat chicken in the menu. No, he, but they're not wings. They're called boneless. They're called boneless wings. Well, yeah, yeah boneless I, wings. I go to Cane's and order chicken fingers. I'm not eating chicken fingers. Well, you might have lawsuit on your hands, Chet. <laughs> I'm not suing Canes. <laughs> well, uh, I you, like them. Let's call Kramer's yeah. lawyer. What was it? <laughs> I get a free latte. He's going to give me a free latte. I get all the lattes. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, know, you haven't seen have, that episode. Yes, I have. I've seen them all. Any... Uh, I've seen every Seinfeld episode. You don't episode. remember enough of them. You don't quote them enough. Well, I've only seen the entire series two or three times well, total. It's because you have, you have just as bad as taste as those people chewing in their microphones. That, is, that, that is in pretty bad taste. How is your uh, talks with Canes in coming to Wichita? How's that going? It ne it's never good. Like, eh, they shoot me down. It's been a year or so since I've... What are they again. scared of? I, I don't think they, they're scared... The response I get is that is not a market that we're interested in expanding in at this moment, with the, according to our current strategy. But they're in Manhattan, Kansas. They ought to be in Wichita. Like yeah. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, they're in. I go to Tulsa for work a lot. They're in Tulsa. Uh, my hotel selection, right next to Canes, is near Canes. And so I, you, they're all the same price hotels, and they're all you know 
15, 10 minutes from the where I have to be, I'm Man. picking the one that's nearest Canes. So we when we uh, do soccer tournaments up in Kansas City, there's a there's a Canes up there, and mm-hmm. then our hotel's right next to the Canes because that's an easy. They're open later than mm-hmm. most of the restaurants up there, so I can go get my freaking three tender meal and yeah, the gravy and the Texas toast and the fries and psh, sweet tea, and I'm in I'm yeah. in heaven. I got good tea. Now speaking of messed up messed up orders, like we're just recovered, like. Every one of our podcast episodes where we complain about something has happened to me in the last month. Yeah. <laughs> so I went to, uh, uh, is it chicken express? No chicken max or not. Chi- the, the one that we used to go to up on uh, rock. Oh no. Uh, slim chickens, slim chickens. Yeah. So I went up there and, uh, ordered myself a little three piece while I'm waiting on uh, soccer practice uh, for Clara to start. And uh, get my food, and I'm all excited. The gravy was underwhelming. And by, by gravy, you mean the sauce? No, the, the, when I ordered gravy to dip my tenders in. Yeah. And it was underwhelming. And I ordered sweet tea, and they gave me regular tea. Oh, and it's the first time I've ever thought. That's never good. As soon as I took that fruit, I was so excited to have that sweet tea and that, that chicken. And yeah. I get to the field, I'm like, I almost went back, but I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing good mm-hmm. ever happens when you infuriate go back. infuriating. Yeah. In- infuriating. Yeah. But anyway, chicken chicken meat. Buddy of mine literally just posted on social media. Dude is suing Wild Wings because his boneless chicken didn't have any wing meat in it. Boneless chicken wings didn't have any wing meat. He said years ago I had a similar experience when I ordered sex on the beach at a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Richie. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. <laughs> anyway, so you you're, you still haven't given up Call of Duty, even though people are chewing? No, no. I just mute those people, and then I'll just deal with it later. But When you said chewing, I thought you meant they were like, had a big old, big old oh, no, Levi we're, we're Garrett t- in their cheek or it, something. If it's <laughs> chips, I don't know what. You know, and then it, it is funny when you get into a group and you can, you hear that stereotypical guy. And he sounds like an older guy, and and uh, but he's got a little bit more of a high pitched voice, and and uh, I I'll be there. It sounds like Cartman. Bob, I'm playing my game. <laughs> no, I do what I want. I, no, kitty. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, yeah, or or and even my buddy uh, made the made the fatal mistake. He wasn't chewing, but he had his dog. And I could hear his dog because his microphone sucks because he didn't take the recommendation on the headset that I told him to buy after yeah. I did my homework. Yeah. And uh, so I can hear his dog in there with a the squeaky toy. And that microphone is picking up that squeaky toy. And when it's in your ear, just wee, wee, wee. And I'm like, bro, take that toy away from your dog. And then, <laughs> like, we're in this lobby with all these people. And he's like, Loki, no, no, Loki, don't do that. And he's just like, <laughs> like Josh, what are you doing? <laughs> Some of the some of the things you hear in those lobbies are pretty. His funny. dog's name's Loki. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Yeah, so uh, I, I, I've been putting in a lot of time. I'm getting uh, I'm getting much better. I, I'm not up to my old uh, old ways just yet, but I'm I'm working my way up. Good deal. Get you some, man. That's what I've been doing. All right. Well, we're gonna take a quick break. Hop into our top three French fries. Are you driving traffic to your website? Do you have an engaging homepage? Better yet, does your homepage have a video? We recently created a video for a client about his business and the services they provide. Since he placed the video on the homepage of their website, he has had a number of clients specifically say they decided to use his services because of that video. At Trussell Media, we help businesses create engaging videos to host on their websites, email to clients, and use in their social media marketing. Contact us if you're interested in creating a video for your homepage today, trusselmedia.com. Fill out the form at trusselmedia.com slash contact. Let us help you tell your story through video. Top three fast food French fries. All right, I'll go. Thank Chet, you. Why don't Thank you, you go for first. letting me go first. The uh, Chick-fil-A waffle fry. Good choice. Good choice. Tied. No, I'm kidding. I, I'm not going to throw that curveball out there. No ties. You can have honorable, honorable Num- mentions. Number two, and this one's kind of tough because these are hit and miss. Uh, you just never know what you're going to get. But when they're right, 
the Arby's curly fry. All right. Okay. They could be, they're off a lot more. Like if, if I wanted straight up consistency, I'd say McDonald's, but a good McDonald's French fry is not as good as a good Arby's curly fry. A mediocre McDonald's French fry is better than a bad, than a bad, I would agree. Arby's, but sometimes you get them, they're soggy and they don't. Yeah. They're just, sometimes they're too crunchy. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's just too hit and miss. Number one, Freddy's French fries. Oh yeah. I like Freddy's fries. They're like the shoestring fries. Yes. Mm-hmm. And yeah. they've got the Freddy sauce, the that, fry that sauce. sauce. That sauce is good. So if you are a listener, that's not from the Wichita area, you probably already know what a Freddy's is now. Cause it's been one of the fastest growing franchises the last two or three years running but the original freddy's is just uh, about three miles from my house and yep oh it's good yeah freddy's is good yep matt what you got all right <clears throat> number three freddy's that's respectable respect 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 and you'll see why in a minute okay uh because the chick-fil-a fries almost made it Yep. Freddy's beat him out. Okay. And then number two, because I didn't think about the consistency issue. I just thought about what, you know, what's a really good fry? Mm-hmm. Arby's. Yeah. Arby's, yeah. Fr- Arby's curly fries. Can't beat them. And that's, you know, one of my favorite sandwiches is the roast beef sandwich. So then I get my favorite fries yeah. as well. Yeah. So not a bad deal. Number one, in and out. Okay. In and out fries. Yeah. So they're kind of like the Freddy fries. Um, but the, the difference for me, is uh, the first time that I went to an In-N-Out, I actually saw them with the bag of potatoes and I saw them cut the fries there yeah, and then fry them up and then put them in the, the container and then put them in my bag. And I was like, that's awesome. Yeah. And maybe they that's just cool. taste, maybe they just tasted better because I saw that happen. You ever been in an In-N-Out? Yeah, a couple of times. Yeah. It, it's Inside or drive through Inside. Yeah. That, <clears throat> but that only one, like two or three times. Yeah, yeah, the first time I went, it was, I don't know. 2001 I, I can't remember it was a long time ago but uh just why looking back over the counter and seeing people cutting french fries cutting tomatoes cutting heads of lettuce i was like oh dude fresh stuff yeah, yeah that's, it, that's that's pretty legit and it's it's uh, well have we done top three burgers uh no nah, i don't think I don't we remember. have well, i'll save it maybe we'll need to i'll save that then because it's right. in my top three burgers for sure yeah maybe oh it is Maybe in mine. Maybe, maybe. All right. Maybe not. All right. Number three for me, Chick-fil-A waffle fries. Number two, Arby's curly fries. No oh, kidding. Oh, man. Love them. Our number two is all the way across the board. Yep. Was it number two yeah. for you too? Yeah. Yeah. But number one for me is McDonald's. They're, they just, consistency, they're, they're just always good. Now, well, there is a caveat here. <laughs> I haven't eaten them in a long time. But back in college, my friend Ryan and I used to roll them up and smoke them. <laughs> no. Oh. Okay. But we would uh we would go eat McDonald's a lot for lunch or whatever. And on nights that there was a party and we'd been drinking a little too much, if we had McDonald's fries earlier that day, it was a bad ending. Oh, they came up. Alcohol and McDonald's French fries, they do not mix well for whatever reason. Really? Yeah. Okay. It, I'm I'm not kidding. Every time we had McDonald's fries, they came up. Huh. Maybe, maybe because it's not natural food. Possibly. I don't know. Man, those are Idaho potatoes. What are you talking I'll about? I'll tell you right now, I the transformation that a McDonald's French fry goes through with time, there's like, not much difference. There, well, no, there's a cliff. Like hot McDonald's French fries, awesome. Been in a paper bag for 30 minutes and they get cold. Done. Can't chew them. Like it's like it leaves this chalk in your mouth. It, like nothing molecular happened that I know of, but it's a different thing. Oh, I thought you meant just how long if you set them on a table, they really don't look any different. They don't oh. ever change like forever. Yeah. But when they get cold, after yeah, the, I don't like the no the, the cold the cold fries. Well, I don't like any cold fries. I mean, I I think pretty much Freddy's, any Freddy's fry. fries aren't 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 bad. Um, 
Well, Freddy's fries are so thin, they they kind of stay crispy. Yeah, yeah, a little bit longer. Yeah. Longer. But the any thick fry, like I could do Chick-fil-A, it, I can't eat those after 30 minutes. It's like, not uh it's not as much of the fast food like drive through fast food, but like five guys fries do do well. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah. After even after a while. Even after well, yeah. they serve them soggy and then they just stay soggy. The paper bag soaks <laughs> yeah, up that right. So you brought up a good point. Write this one down. Top three foods that taste better or or don't taste as bad coming up. Because <laughs> I've got a few. I don't. <laughs> like, dude, one of my if, main if, goals if in life getting, is to not puke. Never so. puke. Oh, right. So uh, ever, I think everybody has that goal. Ex- no, but I'm unless saying. Unless they're bulimic. I mean, I've, been, I've been pretty good about how, it. How so many, I don't, how I don't many years? Three lists. How many years have you gone? I think Jerry had went like, what, 14 years on yeah, Seinfeld? <laughs> mine is. Uh, t- so um, my son is a senior or a freshman in college. When he was in the eighth grade. Oh. So, so five years? Yeah, five, five years. Five years. And, I, and before that, like eight. Wow. That, that one broke like an eight year streak. I'm on year two. I, there, I was, there was a stretch there where, well, you remember, I was sick a lot. Do I? Yeah. Come to work, my stomach. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I have yeah. not thrown up in our last three houses that I can remember. Yeah, well, that's like six months for you. So that's <laughs> uh, three. <laughs> Way to stay on the wagon. <laughs> like that's like that's like five years. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. All right, Chad, you got a good word for us. You got a good word. Debt. Top three foods that taste good coming back up. No, nah, it's not going to be a top three. Or I just won't be able to participate. My my word, my good word is debt. Debt, why would that be a good word? Romans 13, verse 8, let no debt remain outstanding. So basically, if you owe it, pay it. You pay it, except <gasps> the, the continuing debt to love one another for whoever loves others has fulfilled the law. So you should be in debt you owe other people love. Think about that. You owe other people love. Continuing debt to love one another. If you love others, you fulfill the law. That is simple and that is powerful. And very hard to do. They don't deserve it. All at the same time. You owe it. Yeah, oh yeah, it's hard to do. Yeah. Hard to do. But love fulfills the law. We are in debt to love one another. That's That's, my, good, that's a good word. I mean, that's a good word for us too cuz I think we uh complain a lot about how stupid people are, but we just have to love them anyway, right? Yeah, we still have to speak truth. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, dummy. <laughs> it's it's a good it's a balance, right? Speaking yeah. uh speaking truth and uh, loving your neighbor. I'm going to say this with all the love that I have in my heart. You are dead wrong in that opinion. You know, <laughs> that's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Top three ways to speak truth and love your neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Tell somebody they're wrong with in a loving way. Anyway, right. good deal. Well, thanks for listening, and we'll talk to you next week. Thanks for listening to the Hard Headed Podcast. Don't forget to share this podcast with others to help us get the word out. Also, if you haven't yet, please rate and review the show. This helps our podcast show up in other people's suggested shows that may or may not have listened to us before. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next week.